Hi everybody, this is Shauna from Shauna.Plans. Um, tonight we're going to recap my week and then do a bit of planning. So let's get started. Um, I bought no stickers this week. I have no idea how that happened. None. Zero. I bought no stickers since the last video that I did with you. I'm still, I'm just in shock. I actually like went and checked my Etsy history just to make sure I, there wasn't anything I forgot to download. It's, it's mind blowing. So we'll skip that part. <laughs> um, I did make some stickers and list some stickers to sell. Um, I did the archery kit. This is basil and archery because my son does archery and he was in an archery tournament and I had no stickers to go with it. So I made some. We have little targets and basil shooting, basil winning a trophy. The colors are nice and bright, just like my kiddo. And then I also made the accompanying um, volume two kit with the desk accessories and the icons and some digital papers. Next weekend in North America, I think, I don't know if it's the same across the world. Um, it is Mother's Day. So I've made a Mother's Day kit also. Got some pretty pink and green shades. We have Basil and his mom. So cute. Look at mom. She's got a little lipstick on. <laughs> I made the date covers are the little gift tags. So there you go. And the volume 2 kit as well with the desk accessories, the icons, and the digital papers. When you purchase the volume 2 kits, the digital papers come as separate files um, just because they make the good notes file too big for Etsy. And I have a few freebies to show you. Pink Punch Studio. Oh, hang on. I'm going too fast. Um, the kits I made, the two basil kits, are in my Etsy shop. The link is in the description to this video. As well, you can use the coupon code YT for YouTube, YT Friends 10 for 10% off your purchase. All right, now we'll talk about this one. Pink Punch Studio does a freebie every Monday. So this Monday, today, she shared these color cards in each of this month's palettes. I love the 3D kind of effect with the shadow on these ones. No shadow at the top, so the right place to put your washi or your clo uh, clothespin. I guess if you used a clothespin. Thumbtack, paper clip would be at the top. That would make the most sense. Or if you rotate it, you want your how it's attaching to the page to be here. Lenny Digitals had a cute little bee kit as her Saturday sampler this weekend. You can download it at her website. Did I say Lenny Digitals? It's LD Studios, E L D E E Studios.com. And in the Enchanted Journals Facebook group, uh, Last Rituals is the shop. She gave away this gorgeous bee free freebie. Um, it's just individual PNGs. I pulled them into my own GoodNotes file, but you can download it in her Facebook group. She's also doing a challenge this month. If you post a spread in her Facebook group using mostly her, or no, I think it's mostly her stickers. Anyway, you have a whole bunch of beautiful ones to use. Um, you will get a free gift at the end of the month. So do your B spread. I have not done mine yet. Um, but when I do, I will use these stickers because they are so cute. Uh, yeah, so that's that's all I got to share with you this week. That's like the tiniest amount I've ever done. And now I have a million things open. So let's close a few. So I thought we could do, since I don't have a whole lot to share with you, I thought we would do two things um, today. I thought we could decorate my cover together and then um, use the archery kit to make a memory keeping spread for um, this day, last Thursday when I went to my son's archery practice. 
So I'm going to grab this tab and drag it to the front because I like my, um, my working journal to be at the front. And we're going to do this first. I thought maybe we could make the cover be the B challenge. So what have we got? I have all these gorgeous dashboard kits I've bought from Last Rituals. I'm sure one of them must have something I could use as a planner cover. Look at these, the little cutouts, they're so pretty. They're all just so pretty. These are all kits that I've purchased from Last Rit Rituals. They're called the Fairy Tale Dashboard. I'm just checking to see if there's any journal covers. So we got some envelopes. We might be able to do something with the envelopes. I love the postage stamps and the, um, the needlework is so cute. I feel like a dragon with my hoard or like Gollum and my precious going through all these stickers. I'm like, ooh, they're mine. They're all so pretty. <laughs> Look at my treasures. Because <laughs> they are. They really, really are. Oh, and we have all these bowls. I love the bowls. Do not seem to have a planner cover. Oh, we've got, we have a tag. Hmm. Okay. So I've now opened everything and I don't know which one had which. One of them had papers. Pretty papers. And I don't know which one it was. This one has little note papers, so I might be able to use that. Gosh, look how many tabs I have open. I have so many that I have to scroll. Here we go, these are the papers I was thinking about. They're really pretty, we could use that. So this um, GoodNotes file that I'm using, what I did is I just took uh, 32 backgrounds and I just put them in and they're random and I can drag them around. There's no linking so I can drag things around and do whatever I like with them. So this one that I have here has green and the papers I'm gonna use don't have that minty green color. So I'm going to, I think this one will work. Actually no, I think this dark one and then those light colored papers will pop. So I'm just gonna drag it up to the top and we'll drag this one down here somewhere. And I'm gonna just grab all of this and pop it on here. And this is going to be my cover. Yeah, see those, that background matches these papers so much better. And they pop against that darkness. Now this little washi that I'm using, it doesn't work. The tones are too kind of blue. So I'm gonna keep the words. And I think maybe we'll just put them here. And we'll get rid of that. All right, we're gonna use this honey. Ooh, I got two of them. I only wanted one. It's 
so pretty. We got some little plants in this one. This one might work. We'll see. It's got a bit of yellow on the edges of the leaves, so those yellow tones might tie in nicely. Oh, I think they do. So what I'm working on right now, for those of you who don't know, is last month I posted a challenge, um, digital memory keeping. So you take a photograph every day and you just make a pretty spread with it. You get to play with your stickers and it gives you something nice to flip through at the end of the month. Um, I don't like flipping through and looking at my to-do lists and if I drink my water or not. Um, I do like flipping through and seeing pictures of stuff that had happened all month long. That one's really pretty too. It's got a lot of gold in it. I think I like the first one better. Um, so that's what we're doing right now is just making a cover for my May memory keeping and then we'll do a spread. I think this one's got a lot of pinks in it. Too much pinks. For my spread I've got kind of a yellow tones going oh these pens are better I don't know which one I like them both I like I want this one but I'm worried that it won't stand out enough Let's see The other one stood out better. Nope, I think the first one was the best of the three. Undo, 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 undo. Oh, this is pretty. A little sunflower and a bowl. That color works better. Sorry, succulent. You're out. Because <laughs> look how pretty that is. Oh, it's perfect. Um, I think I closed the one with the bee freebies. did. I need some more. I need to go back to the freebies. This little guy here, I'm going to put him on the flower. <laughs> oh, it's so cute. So in my elements, I've saved a few things. These are wire words from M Chung Digitals. I'm going to use them. May. I don't have much in my elements. Um, but I do have a few things that I find very useful to have handy. I think that's the point of them. I don't go and stick everything in there because it's not, it's, um, the way you search and find things isn't the most efficient. I think 
is something I can use and pretend it's like an apostrophe. Why will it not let me crop this? Here we go, back to the image tool, then crop. This might look silly. make an apostrophe no <laughs> that's not gonna work did I move oops undo I'm gonna move this up here to blank space. I have no idea if this is gonna work. So far it's not looking too promising. I don't want to write 2023. would much rather have a comma. <laughs> the shadows are really wonky. Does that work? <laughs> I think it does. Just because I made it so small, you can't really see the detail in it. So you can't tell that the shadows are all messed up. Just don't look too close. All right, what else have we got in here? I love these postage stamps. They're so pretty. I don't really have room for a bowl. We've kind of filled that all up. This is pretty. I don't know if it fits anywhere though. So I'm looking for things that kind of have a yellow tone to them because the yellow kind of brown tones are predominant on this page. I feel like that's too many circle things in all the corners. So it's gonna be no coffee. I 
want just the little honey spill. So I'm going to select this and say crop. I still have freehand selected. So I say done. And then I have just a little spill of honey. This little gem here is the right color. These were another freebie that was gifted in the last ritual shop. to these this one can be sitting on this broken watch I'm not sure if I'm going to keep that watch I think it looks too random we'll see white <laughs> to put some little candies on I think I think I'm gonna lose this keep that. That's just the perfect color. There we go. So there is my cover. I've done a B spread for the B challenge. Um, as much as I spent all that time fiddling with this thing, I can't can't do it. Even that small drives me crazy. So what I think we'll do is we'll shrink this down. That's not working for me. I need 
an empty space. See, I haven't been keeping up with my my spreads. Um, but I still put the pictures that I take each day on so that I can go back and I can make the spread so I still have my little digital scrapbook going. So we gotta do the whole year because I'm too particular. There we go, and I just used a blank space so that I could lasso it. And then I'm just gonna shrink it down and tuck it under the word May. That'll work. Done. Beautiful. All right. So now let's go set up my archery spread. So he got two in the yellow, which is very good. He's been doing archery since October. He's not a natural. It's definitely taking some practice. But he likes it. He's keeping it up. Oh, this is cute too. I just saw that, remembered this picture. He brought me some old flowers. I have no idea where he picked them on his way home from school, but he did. They look like cherry or apple blossoms. Okay, so let's start with the volume two archery kit. And I'm gonna grab this little notepad here. So what I like to do, I'm going to take this picture, let's say copy, and I'm going to go to Procreate. And I'm going to hit the plus, allow paste, and then clipboard. Oh, I hit it twice. So there's my picture. Now what I'm going to do is make it smaller, stick it in the middle, and turn the background off. I'm going to hit this wand tool and I'm going to make it all the way black, deselect, reselect, and then bring it to 65, eh, maybe 70. Okay, and then hit it again, Gaussian blur, and just add a blur. Not much. Let's do 4%. So I'm dragging my pen. You can see how much it blurs. So I just want to drag my pen a little bit till that percent gets to four. So now we'll bring this in a bit. Not so much that we mess up the shadow that we so carefully just made. Share. PNG. Copy. So that puts that little shadow on my clipboard and it's just the right size. that photograph. I'm going to paste a second one and turn it this way. And a third one. Okay. So now I can cut this paper photo and I'm going to paste it on top. I'm going to resize it so it's just a smidge smaller than that shadow. And line it up so you can see a bit of shadow on these three sides, but not the top. And then we'll do the same thing with this one and resize it so we have shadow on three sides but less at the top. Oh, and 
you can undo. I didn't cut and paste, so that photo was on a lower layer, so that's why it disappeared. It went behind all the other stickers. So uh, the main archery kit, I'm going to grab two washi stickers. And make them look like they are holding those photographs onto the page. Perfect. So for this uh, memory planning, I've been using a font that I made myself, so it's my own printing. Which I think adds to the memory keeping vibe of it. What day was last Thursday? Today's the 8th, 7, 6, 5, so it was the 4th. I'm going to turn off my image toggle and now when I lasso it's just going to grab the text. Actually, you know what? I'm going to not do that. I'm going to use this one. I've almost forgot. I had so much fun making these date covers and then I almost forgot to use it. Silly. Now we'll use that font. And I just do a little sentence about the day. go. So I'm going to resize it till it's proportioned for that box. Just too big for it. I'm going to turn my lasso off. Image is off on the lasso so it just grabs the text and then I can position it in the box. There we go, we've got a cute little spread being built up here. Actually, I'm going to use the stickers that have the white outline.
there's my little archery spread. And then I'm going to take this picture. And this time, it's going to be just resting on the desktop. So I'm going to center the picture. Just a smidge of shadow showing. So grab all this. Resize and put a little tilt on it because that's what I do. I'm going to cut these two and paste just to make sure they're on my top layer because I want the shadows to make sense. And then let's grab some of these dusk things to add a little decoration to my desktop. we're good there we go so I did two pages with you today um there is my extreme planning or no oh my goodness that's the other challenge <laughs> I haven't done that in forever my digital memory keeping spread for today and then we also set up the cover which will be my beekeeping challenge in the last rituals group spread super fun all right well i hope you like that i will link i'm not gonna link the last rituals um kits because i use like 10 of them but i will link her etsy shop and her facebook group for you in the description of this video and i will link my etsy shop as well um i think that's everything so i'll be back on thursday to talk about pink punch studio hopefully you grabbed some amazing deals during the planner mayhem sale this weekend and I think that's it. See you soon, everyone. Bye.